little problem today. Well, that long ball has gone all the way through over the top. And Bruno Bordaroli has struck and landed the first blow at Amy Park this afternoon. Well, he was just down receiving treatment on what looked like a sore knee. He's picked himself up, and if there was ever a cure for a sore knee, it's a goal, and he's got that victory lead. Well, the Harvey Norman replay shows it's quite simple lead-up play, but it's a quite simply fantastic finish. You see here, Dan Hall gets drawn in. Fornaroli comes in and takes the space. A little deflection, I think, there, but... Economides down to the byline, the comeback, and Fernando Romero, the Paraguayan, gets his first goal for Melbourne victory, and ten minutes into the second half, the home side lead by two goals to nil, and perhaps reports of the death of Melbourne victory were a little premature. Well, the Harvey Norman replay will show some great play down the left. We spoke earlier about a front two, a striker getting across the defender at the front post. Well, there is a perfect example of it. As the ball comes to Economides, he's 1v1 with Storm Root. Shifts it onto that left foot and look at Romero. Straight across the front of Caltag. Nips in front of him. Great striker movement. Gets his toe to it. And there's nothing Dan, Dan Vukovic can do at that near post. inside the stadium is seeing the same pictures that you are seeing at home as well everyone is making up their own mind no penalty well what wow. a match of football this is highs and lows and a yellow card for Marco Tullio and Connor Chapman's letting him know all about it as well well let's go back to this argument that we have time and time again of clear and obvious error 